Hey guys, this is Cash with Tape, and today you uh, join me in Kerbin Orbit with um, a bunch of reaction wheels and kind of just some stuff. I'm going to explain this. Um, I was thinking about the whole, you know, spinning stuff, um, and then if you release it, it moves away from you. Like I'll demonstrate now. Wait, better quick save this because I've got lots of things to talk about. Um, if I demonstrate this and I just start spinning like that, and then you do that, it releases these and they move away from you. So that actually changes their orbit quite significantly. Um, I'll actually... Oh! Uh, what? That's the other one. I want to find the one that would... Yeah, see that one went further out. But, um... So if I spin uh, faster, it'll um, move things further away from me, as I'll demonstrate now. Uh, so I'll just put this in a better position, and I'll just spin this. And because this uses no fuel, it's an insanely efficient way to get places. Although it doesn't really work amazingly in practice, because, okay, this is about as fast as it will spin, I think. But this has no cap on spinning anymore, but eventually it just kind of goes out of control. So, But anyway, if I release this now, um, that went much further. See, that's quite far out. That moved the um, Apple Apps up by 110 kilometers. But uh, what if I wanted to uh, move it a little further? I could do two things, one of which you will see in a second. Alright, back in orbit with something else, and this is basically the same thing, but with some engines um, put in place of, um, well, not put in place of anything, just kind of put in there. Um, so if I ignite these, it'll, I'll be able to kind of get up to speed faster and possibly just spin faster, although um, I think there's a cap on spinning in the game, although that may have been removed, so I'm not sure uh, fully how much more effective these will be, but I will see. So I'll just ignite them, and I could set it spinning like that and it would spin for a very long time, um, or I could just throttle it up and try to get up to speed really quickly and overcome the SES force, because if I take the SES off, oh no, that's pretty well balanced, so that'll stop fighting it, um, I'll just try and spin as fast as possible, maybe until I just run out of fuel, but I think it might go out of control after a little while, but uh, we will see, I guess. Now that's staying pretty well balanced, which is nice, um, release them now. Yeah, see that went a lot further, where's the other one? See, 192, actually went a little further out. Um, not actually that much more impressive, but it was a little further. And um, I'm thinking if I put some bigger engines on it, it might work even better. So I will see you again in a second. Alrighty then, this is um, my, my newest one with the bigger engines. It's not using the really huge engines, because I just that just broke and it crashed the game a lot for some reason, I don't know, I think um, the new engines probably run slightly different. So anyway, this will be more than powerful enough. Um, basically the same setup, just with rocker maxes. So, let's throttle these up. Not all the way or it'll break apart, this is actually an incredible achievement that it doesn't break apart. But now we're getting serious spin up and sticky keys is... So that was the G-Force limit. What? What? Oh, I think it just died. Um, I'll try that again. I really hate when Sticky Keys comes up, the um little thing that's like, uh, oh, you've been pressing this button a lot. Would you like to have Sticky Keys on? I'm like, no, never, ever, ever will. I never want that. I, I, I hate, just, Windows just won't leave me alone. Anyway, I'll throttle up again and try not to break this, I guess. Alrighty, a little faster, I think I'll keep it, oh my god, shut up Windows, I don't want to turn sticky keys on, ever, okay, they are away, and it broke before I could switch to the part, where are you mystery fuel tank, okay, there we go, yeah, that did basically the same, so I'm thinking that this isn't actually brilliantly effective just putting more engines on because it doesn't actually get much more kind of spinning out of it. So, um, instead of bigger engines, what about more efficient engines that would speed it up just kind of slowly until it's just spinning unbelievably and would be more stable? Let's take a look at that. Now, this is the ion-driven one I've kind of constructed. Um, 
that will be able to spin for a very long period of time, as long as it's in the daylight, so it's not great. But if I put it in a higher orbit, or just around the sun, it would be able to just spin forever until it runs out of xenon gas, so probably not forever, probably just for a long time. Anyway, I'll just warp into day so you can see it and so it will work. Um, and this probably won't be a brilliant demonstration, but I have something, uh, kind of a... Well, you'll see what I have for the last kind of bit of this, and it's more, uh, more scientific, let's, let's say. That's probably a lie. It is a lie. Um, thank you, KSP, for working so well. I have been having a ridiculous amount of problems with KSP recently. It's just been like, oh, I'm gonna crash, oh, I'm gonna drop your frame rates, oh, I'm just gonna stop. And, like, it'll just, like, completely glitch out while trying to do eight times symmetry. I don't know, it's... I, I, it might just be uh, my computer slowly dying. I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's just put this in a... Probably all the mods I use, actually. Anyway, that is orientated terribly. So, that's good. Um, probably enough sunlight. So, let's just light up these engines. Literally, they'll just light up. And spin. And we're running out of electric charge. But it's fine. Anyway... The idea if I'd positioned these uh, panels better is that it would just kind of spin for a very long period of time and eventually just build up enough speed so that it would be spinning incredibly fast and you'd be able to release the uh, release the payloads and they'd go very far. But uh, there is another way of making uh, things go further by spinning and that's kind of to extend what they're attached to. Um, so you can see these have fairly short beams, so there's not much kind of leverage, I guess. Um, so they only go so far. Uh, this one was actually positioned terribly. So um, I'm thinking if you use a much longer beam, you could get much further. And this actually, uh, you'll see in a second, works quite well. Alright, this is what I was talking about, these big long beams. And this is back to the original design of moving things without engines, otherwise it's kind of just pointless. Um, because, uh, I mean, the idea would be that I could do this without, um, having engines, so I'll just move this into the right position, and then you could just kind of spin it, and does they have longer beams? Yes, they're moving slower, but it has more leverage, um, because if they're in the center, they're going to be spinning faster, but this has more, I guess it would be more linear velocity as opposed to angular velocity, I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so these will gain more kinetic energy. Um, I can spin this for a very long time and just kind of build up as much uh, kinetic energy as possible. And then, I don't know, I don't know if this has a... I, I heard that KSP no longer has a cap on how much you can spin, but it kind of seems like it does. But anyway, I could then speed this up with time warp and just kind of do this forever and ever until eventually I decide to release them. And they go much further. Well, not much further, but I actually did get it to go further than that before. But, you know, if you do this, you'll get them further. Anyway, this has kind of been a fairly pointless video. But um, it's a nice idea that you could use reaction wheels to move your craft. And that would just be created by solar power, as opposed to uh, using uh, engines and fuel. Put my kind of most of my spinning things were using engines and fuel, but this is a better idea and it gets it further because, uh, but obviously, you could build a really huge one and throw them all the way to the moon or something. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's not too disjointed and I'm gonna have to kind of edit it because Windows was mean to me. Um, yeah, anyway, this has been Casper with Tape. I will see you next time.